A company such as ours is something more than just the manufacturing facilities that make up our 26 plants throughout the world, typified by our West Allis complex. Nor can our company be measured solely by the more than 38,000 men and women who make up our employee family, or the 60,000 shareholders who own our stock. Nor can our company be thought of principally for the products we make, or our annual sales volume, or the many markets we serve. No, it isn't any one or a group of these factors. It's all of them put together, plus something more. That something more is our business philosophy. You can call it our corporate character, our way of life, or what we want to live by. This business philosophy of ours has been put into words and called our statement of purpose. Let's take a closer look at the opening sentence in the statement. It says, our business is directed at marketing equipment, processes, systems, and services of superior value to our customers. The key words here are superior value. This, then, is what we are going to talk about. Our company's goal to provide products and services with a high order of excellence. It is the road to our future progress. First of all, we do not recognize any limits to our potential field of operations. Our geographical scope is the entire free world. We have a completely flexible approach toward doing business in these other countries, both in the buying of materials that we need and the manufacturing and selling of our goods in foreign markets. We know the only way we can compete in these countries is to offer products of superior value. On the domestic scene, there is an equally strong need for excellence and quality. This farm tractor with its high performance characteristics didn't just happen overnight. It's the work of many people in our company. Design engineers with years of specialized experience are continually working on new developments to improve quality and performance and to come up with new and fresh ideas. We have hundreds of design engineers in the company doing this kind of work. The research experts, too, are a vital factor in discovering new ways to do things, new materials to use, and new products to make. Our products can be no better than the materials they're made of. That's why we have trained buyers and elaborate quality checks on the materials we buy. Not only must a product be well designed, it must be well made. We have literally thousands of skilled machine tool operators and other craftsmen turning out our products. Upon them rests a great responsibility. They are supported and backed up by pattern makers, foundry workers, tool and die makers, welders, crane operators, office workers, those engaged in moving materials, inspectors who give the stamp of approval to quality production and quality control, electricians and maintenance people who keep the plant operations moving smoothly, packers, shippers, and a host of other types of workers who help in making and marketing goods and services of superior value to our customers. Not only that, we urge all employees to stay alert for and make use of all new ideas. This is strongly emphasized in the statement of purpose. As an equal opportunity employer, we believe that one of the most important points in our business philosophy is that each employee shall be provided full opportunity and encouraged to develop his abilities. In fact, we offer our people many ways to develop and upgrade themselves. We have a very active apprentice course with young men studying to become skilled draftsmen, pattern makers, tool and die makers, machine tool operators and electricians. They learn to be men with a trade. In manufacturing engineering, we offer a certificate program in which over 150 men have so far participated. This program covers computer techniques, quality assurance, product planning and material control, industrial budgeting, and budget analysis. We cooperate with local universities to provide courses for our employees in engineering, science, and business administration. A tuition refund plan is available. Over 700 employees last year participated in the company's own business administration correspondence course. Each year we recruit several hundred college graduates, many of whom take our graduate training course. For management training, we have a program which has been participated in by some 1,200 foremen and supervisors. Top management training also has been given to over 700 of our people. 
We believe strongly that properly trained employees are better able to share in our all-company goal of leadership through aggressive, sound innovation. And sound innovation in the products we make, we believe, is the best way we have to achieve leadership in our various markets. The great kiln system has been a sensational success in the making of cement and the pelletizing of iron ore, another important Alice Chalmers contribution to the more efficient use of our natural resources. The new 260E motor scraper, which picks up a 23-yard load in just one minute, is another instance of a product that has been quickly accepted for its outstanding performance. Our new line of extra high voltage transmission equipment is an important part of our future plans for helping utilities handle electric power economically. The new tube hydraulic turbine is welcome for its savings at low head hydroelectric sites. Hard working lift trucks are used to handle materials and plants everywhere as the new modern efficient way to move material. Our new line of subtran distribution transformers is aiding in the current trend toward more electrical installations underground. The newly introduced B10 and B12 garden tractors are setting new standards of performance in handling all-around lawn and garden jobs. Our famous Valley line of paper-making machines is another example of our continual striving for leadership in the fields we serve. How do we go about achieving these innovations? They come, of course, in many ways. The research division has come up with such interesting new products as the fuel cell, on which the aerospace industry is counting so heavily. The new Versapack line of large motors is an example of product development within a department. Still another source for adding products is found in adapting items for uses other than their original use, as this control room in an iron ore pelletizing plant. Recently announced is the 12G crawler shovel, a larger, more powerful unit added to an existing line. Other products are frequently added through company acquisitions and through licensing. Altogether, research and development make up a big part of our efforts. We are investing an average of about 6% of our total income each year in research, engineering, and development work. Even with the latest designs, the most skilled people, and the finest cooperation on progressive innovations, we still need the proper manufacturing facilities. The recent updating at West Allis now makes this one of the most modern manufacturing facilities in the world. The new tank and plate shop at West Ellis is typical of the many modernizing and remodeling jobs going on in such plants as Norwood, Pittsburgh, and Harvey. All through our 26 plants here and abroad, facilities are being thoroughly updated for high-speed, efficient production. In our statement of purpose, which is our basic plan for achieving leadership, we believe it is fundamental to spell out our responsibilities to all the people with whom we deal. We feel a deep responsibility to our customers. As in the case of this farmer, we want him to know that he can depend upon the manufacturer of his tractor and the dealer who sold it to him and who will service it for him. We acknowledge our responsibility to our dealers and distributors, knowing they can market our products best if we back them up in every possible way in their marketing and servicing activities. We have a responsibility to our shareholders, the owners of our business. Without their money invested in our enterprise, we could not operate. We owe a responsibility to our suppliers, the firms from whom we buy materials and services, as much as $300 million a year. Hundreds of companies depend upon our fair dealing with them. And there's our big responsibility to our employees, to give them pleasant and safe working conditions, counseling service of all types for personal problems, opportunity for employee sports and company-sponsored league activities, comprehensive health and accident protection, and a fine pension plan for retirees, plus many recreational opportunities. Our company, too, is anxious that we be known as good citizens. In all our plant locations, our people are encouraged to play a part in civic affairs, including the United Fund. The company's statement of purpose closes with these words. It is our purpose to carry on this business in such a way and to the point that the health and progress of the enterprise will be assured, that all opportunities will be aggressively prosecuted, and that the results will represent excellence when measured by all acceptable standards. These, then, 
are the principles as set down in the statement of purpose by which our company plans to meet the challenge of excellence.